We'll go ahead and start with our post-race press conference. We're now joined by Kyle Bush, third place finisher of today's Duck Commander 500, driving the number, inter number 18 Interstate Batteries Toyota. Uh, it's your seventh top five finish here at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, exciting shoot out there at the end. Talk about talk about that finish. Yeah, it was it was really good. We had a good race car today. The Interstate Batteries Camry was pretty good. We uh, come from the back and up to the front, had a really good car there through the middle. We led some, and then, uh, you know, Jeff was pretty good, and then the Penske cars. I went by one of them and in one run, like he was standing still, and then he went by me the next run like I was standing still. So um, kind of crazy the way that happened, but they come out of nowhere and just took off there the last 70 laps, 80 laps, whatever it was, and uh, they were going to be tough to beat. But, um, you know, we had uh, second to last stint where we got behind a little bit, on our adjustments and we fought loose real bad loose and I lost too much time to the leaders and when we came in and pitted on that uh, final green flag pit stop there we made really good adjustments Dave and the guys did and uh, I was able to come back up and cut my deficit to the leaders probably in half but I was just so far back I wasn't going to get there but uh, then that last caution come out and chaos ensues on a restart so you just fight for all you can and get everything you can um, I was on a top lane so it was kind of dirty up there with the way the rubber lays down throughout the run you didn't there wasn't a long enough caution there to kind of get it cleaned up enough but um, felt like we ended up where we should have anyways today and uh, we had a good car so I nice to finish up like that I guess we uh, set the streak continues seven different winners on the first <coughs> seven races talk about that and obviously we saw a lot of uh, gambling there at the end yeah yeah I think you would have and I think uh, you know the 24 strategy was probably a good strategy to, to go with it's just if you would have had uh, probably two, three more guys do that, then probably could have won the race, you know. But there wasn't quite enough guys that took two. I think that uh, he didn't get um, enough separation between the four-tire cars that, uh, you know, the restart just played out the way it did. And we're joined by today's second-place right. finisher, right. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, uh, driver of the number 24, Exalta, Texas A&M, School of Engineering, Chevrolet, uh, ninth career top five finish the Texas Motor Speedway for Jeff. Uh, you gambled there, took two tires at the end. Talk about the strategy uh, and, and, again, the, the gamble to, to go for the win. Yeah, it was a great call. I think Alan learned a lot in California when we took four. Um, you know, we, we felt like that didn't go so well for us. So we were – I mean, I, I think being – coming in six, you, you got – you're in that position that you can gamble. Um, you know, you're not going to win it with – Four, you're not going to win it with none. So, um, you know, I think that was a good call. And, you know, I, I feel very fortunate to finish second. I mean, Joey was the class of the field there the second half of the race. So, uh, you know, I, I knew it was going to be hold, hard to, to hold those guys off. And so I got a pretty good restart. And so I was happy about that and got through one and two. I, I was shocked I was leading off of two, to be honest. So uh, I wish I would have run a little bit higher down three and four because, uh, I mean, I, I'm sure Joey was just going to go wherever I didn't, but, uh, you know, he I probably would have been a little bit better off uh, in the top. And then he crossed over and got in the back of me pretty good. So at that point, I was just thinking, I just want to finish and uh, looked at my mirror, and those guys were racing hard behind me. So it was a great, great second-place finish for us. We're joined by today's top finishing rookie, Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 target Chevrolet who finished uh, fifth in today's Duck Commander 500. Just your second start at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, talk about your run there and then at the finish, um, just the different strategies playing out. Yeah, we were really good today. Uh, pretty much good from the start. Uh, our target Chevy was, was average on a short run, but long runs I thought we had probably the best car and, um, you know, just, just kept sticking with it and got it better and better each you know, run. And... Um, you put ourselves in position there on that last restart to, to get a good finish. Uh, happy we didn't lose any spots, then a little bit disappointed we didn't gain any because we were on you know four fresh tires and uh, the 24 and the 55 had two and beat us. But all in all, a, a really good day and uh, go on to Darlington, a track where I really like and try and do even better. Go ahead, open up for questions. Right here, Jerry. Uh, Jerry Fraley, Dallas Morning News for Jeff Gordon, please. Jeff, there, I don't even know if you noticed, there were some odd occurrences early in the race from a jet dryer uh, harming some cars to two of your teammates having some misfortune. Were you conscious of that? And if so, did it have any effect upon your approach the rest of the way? Yeah, th that was odd. You know, we, we drove um, on the, when we left Pitt Road for, at the beginning of the race, drove by those two jet dryers down the back, and we were all just kind of casually going by it. 
And that last one, it about blew all of us over. I mean, it was, I thought it damaged my car as well. So it got my attention. And when I heard that the two had trouble, I, I told my guys, I said, I'm not surprised because I thought it about tore the cow flap off on mine and or, or, or pushed in the right side. So I, I was concerned. Uh, we all started avoiding that one, and I told him, mark that one. Let us know if that one's on the track from that point forward. But, so you know, that was pretty odd. I'm not sure what's more odd, that that happened or that NASCAR allowed those guys to repair those things. Uh, I had a piece of concrete fly through my front end one time at Martinsville. I don't remember him ever letting me <laughs> repair the car. But uh, I hate that, that that happened with Junior and that Jimmy got caught up in that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. You know, I haven't spoke to, to either one of those guys to know what happened there. Carlos? Carlos Mendez, Forward Star Telegram. Kyle, uh, Joey's a young driver. Uh, you were a young driver in Cup 2. Can you explain the value of a guy figuring out a track and what a win early in the year does for a young guy? Yeah, I mean, I think Joey has learned a lot over the years at, at JGR and just never quite felt comfortable there for whatever reason. But uh, sure has found a home at Penske, that's for sure. Those guys are really good over there. Joey has been, Brad has been, and, and they've shown some real good speed here this year. All the qualifying runs, I think Joey's the only one to make it to the last round every week. But, um, you know, it just goes to show they've got good stuff, and uh, Joey's doing what he needs to be doing with it. You know, at first, there through the uh, middle part of the race, you know, Jeff and I we were kind of leading and back and forth a little bit up front, and then out of nowhere come the 22. So that was... Um, kind of surprising they went they went by us and then they were the class of the field you know but um, it's really good for them to to score a win I think it's good for any of us to score a win um, especially there's seven different of them right now and uh, it seems like the chase continues to fill up quick uh, Nate Ryan USA Day Sports for Jeff you were joking a couple of weeks ago about your restarts being a little bit weaker as of late it, can you take some solace in the fact that I, I assume you read that that restart was pretty good. It was more about just tires and not uh, letting it slip away. Yeah, no, I was very happy with it. I mean, it's something that, uh, you know, we're focused on. I'm focused on trying to, to do a better job. Uh, California didn't go so well, but I feel like all year long our restarts have been really good other than that. Some of it's in the car, some of it's in the setup, and most of it's in me. So, you know, today was uh, on that particular one was just all about not spinning the tires too much and, so I tried to carry a little bit more speed to the line, you know, because I knew that those guys had an advantage with the newer tires and got a pretty good start. So, you know, I, uh, I was, like I said, I was surprised we weren't four wide going into one because it was just so easy with those old left sides to spin uh, the rears. Jerry. Jeff uh, and Kyle uh, uh, Bush. Guy on the end down there says he's excited to go to Darlington next week. Uh, do you guys share that with him? Uh, have you all talked to him about this track at all? <laughs> Well, that to tells you what kind of uh, talent he has, you know. <laughs> when a guy uh, is looking forward to going to Darlington and rim rides up there on the top and uh, is doing the stuff that he's doing. By the way, Joey's not young. He's young. Uh, Joey's like a veteran now compared to this guy. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think the top guys in the sport, you know, whether it's when they first come in or, or still today, uh, they, they look at Darlington as, as a challenging racetrack but one they look forward to because, uh, uh, you know, the skills that it takes to, to run good there and run up against the wall. And I'm sure, you know, this Kyle would say the same thing. And, and so I'm not surprised, no. Holly. Holly Kane, NASCAR.com. Kyle Larson, did you already answer a question about this being a little bit like, did it feel a little bit like California there at the end? Uh, I didn't think it was quite as wild <clears throat> on that last restart as it was at California. Just probably because this track isn't quite as wide as Fontana. But um, they're down the backstretch with Kyle and, and Biffle and uh, the 55. We, uh, we all had a good run there, and, and I helped you know, Kyle kind of get past uh, the 16 a little bit. And uh, then I you know, had to drag race 55 back to the line. He edged me out there. But um, it was, it was uh, exciting, I thought. Um, like I said, they're not quite as crazy as California, but still you know, green-white checkers are always pretty wild. And as a follow-up, I was listening to you on the, on the uh, scanner, and I thought it was interesting that your crew chief was asking you at the end of the race, are you having fun? And you're like, yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> and he said, that's what this is all about. Can you just talk about, I mean, how much you're enjoying this? And, and a lot of rookies, they don't, you know, they say, well, let's give ourselves at least half a season before we expect a win. Do you feel like you're on the verge now of getting your first win? 
I think so. You know, we've been, I feel like, a top 10 car most races. And, you know, we were good at Bristol, you know, good at Fontana, and, and you're good here. And uh, you know, I think if we just keep keeping ourselves in contention, you know, things will work out late in the races or, or we might have a dominating car one day and, and uh, get our first win. I, you know, I feel like right now it could come at a, a mile and a half or a little bit bigger track. And um, hopefully, hopefully that comes soon because there's a lot on the schedule. Any other questions? Any from the press box? No questions from the press box. Oh, Jerry, Jerry has one more. Uh, Jerry Fairley, Dallas Morning News. One more for Jeff, if I could, please. There's still 19 more chances to get the win in the regular season, but is it all the pressure very small rising, or is it still too early to look at that? No, I mean, the pressure is always there to win. You know, you always want to win. Winning benefits you whether it's this point system or, or any other point system. You know, winning is, is the ultimate, and that's what we're all out there to do. And, um, you know, it's important to be consistent because that helps get you in a position more often to win. But, um, you know, I think every race that goes by that there's a different winner, then the pressure gets um, more intense. And uh, you just got to go, you know, look at that next opportunity and try to put yourself in that position to go win it. You know, I'm real happy with the way our team's performing this year and feel like we've uh, kind of missed a couple opportunities. But uh, we're also running really strong that uh, I know that, and we're consistently running strong that I know that that opportunity is going to come for us. Holly? I'm sorry, one more question. And, and I apologize if this was asked while I was outside doing interviews, but for Kyle Busch, could you just talk about JGR today? You guys really ended up having some pretty good finishes after a weekend where you weren't exactly where I would imagine you wanted to be on the speed chart and had to make up some ground in the race, all of you. Yeah, that was good. Um, I did see that. You know, Matt struggled early, but uh, was able to make some good changes, I guess, and got himself up to the top ten. Uh, I think he was seventh. I'm not sure where Denny was, but... Uh, all in all, we we seemed to have um, you know some runs there in the top ten. We were kind of the forefront of the group, but uh, we struggled last week at Martinsville. Uh, Denny and I both really bad, and uh, that's not typical for as good as we've run there in the past, and especially Denny. And then uh, even the week before that at California, you know we weren't the best there either. We were probably a sixth place car, Matt probably eighth place car, and fortunately Denny didn't get to race. But uh, you know some gains today. Definitely. I think that uh, we learned some things here this weekend, trying some different concepts, but there are some guys that are definitely uh, still, um, you know, steps ahead of us that uh, we got to get better as a whole, as a, as a group. Any other, Any questions? other questions? Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much. That you're not sure of if they've been asked yet. <laughs>